Hey Eric, I need your help. I'm doing an elephant's toothpaste demonstration for the 4th of July. Can I participate? Of course. Then I'll help. Will your brothers and sisters be there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Good. They'll keep you from doing something stupid. After all, you are somewhat of an idiot. I don't do stupid things, Eric. No? What about the time you started the Van de Graaff generator next to me and my computer? <laughs> you got over it. Oh, calm down, Eric! Or the time you put 700,000 volts through your wife's feet? She's a good sport. That's good. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> or how about the time you forgot to add soap to the last hydrogen peroxide decomposition experiment? And for I was in a hurry. Are you going to help or not? What seems to be the problem? The literature calls for a two molar solution of potassium iodide. But when I use that, I don't get good results. What container are you using? The six liter yeah, one. The bug yeah, the one with the bug in it. Maybe you ought to clean it first. Anyway, the two molar concentration is much too low. Really? What should I be using? 8.13 molar, approximately. Now how could you possibly know that off the top of your skull? Leave the jokes to me. Past research suggests a saturated solution to be 31 grams of potassium iodide in 21 milliliters. So add 31 grams of potassium iodide to 21 milliliters. Since 31 grams displaces approximately 2 milliliters, we have 23 milliliters total. The molecular weight of potassium iodide is 165.868 grams per mole. So 31 grams times 1 mole per 165.868 grams divided by 0.023 liters equals 8.13 moles per liter or 8.13 molar. Wait, where's Kim? Where's Claire? Where's Ricky? Where's David? Where's Paul? Don't leave me with the idiot! Anybody? I hate idiots.